So we're fishing a, a, quite a small stream here. It's only about 15 metres wide and it's very shallow, very different to the plunge pools we were fishing earlier. Now this is a very likely location and the reason that it looks like a great spot is I've got deep water here in a pool, I've got water washing in over the riffles and I've got a whole lot of little runs and bubble lines. And it's so important that you read the water before you start fishing because it's most likely that the big fish are going to take up the best lies. So I don't want to go casting all the way over the other side of the river when there might be a fish sitting right here because if I do get one there, I'll probably spook this one. So just looking at these bubble trails, this lie here looks perfect. So that's where I'm going to start my fishing. And to start my fishing, I'm going to use a different lure to the suspending husky jerk that I was using earlier. I'm going to use this Rapala flat wrap. This is the six centimetre model. Ideal for this sort of fishing. I can cast it right up into the shallow rocks and then I'll just give the rod a few quick flicks. We'll bring it in through this deep drop off here and hopefully there'll be a fish sitting there. Yep, oh, look at this. That's a big fish. And he just steamed out of that run. He's got to get him out into the middle of the river. Just back that drag off a little. Now, there's some sunken logs here. So you've got to be really careful. And one of the good things about braid is that I can see my leader knot. Look at the size of that. So I know how deep he is. Now this fish is nowhere near done by any means. Look at those flanks. Just going to back that drag right off. And it's usually a first cast in this sort of situation that'll bring a fish like this unstuck. That quick response. Come on, come in. Oh, oh, that is a beast. And that's why I love trout fishing in southwest Victoria. Even though we're fishing a small stream, we're using reasonably heavy tackle. And this is the reason why. Because that would be at least three kilos of brown trout. And I'm stoked. <laughs> Mate, that is one good brown trout. And really, this is as good a fishing as you'll have anywhere in the state. Let's see if we can get the hooks out of this one. There you go, there's that lure. That's the Rapala flat wrap, the six centimetre size. And these have only just come onto the market in the last 12 months or so, and they are dynamite for fishing small water. They're a little bit different from the standard floating lures that Rapala bring out, the minnows. They've got flat sides and they've got a very small bib. And they're perfect for using in this sort of situation. And you can see why it's important to try different techniques in different locations. Because you might end up snaring yourself something like that, which is an absolute beast. <laughs> 